Before getting a puppy, be sure the breed you choose to purchase or rescue is a good fit for your lifestyle and home. Akita vs Chow Chow, which is right for you. Keep watching to find the perfect pup for you. Number 1, History. Akita History. Akita is a working dog breed that originated in the northern Japanese mountains. They were used for hunting and fighting purposes. But now Akitas are trained for police and guard duty. Akita comes in two separate varieties, a pure Japanese strain called the Akita Inu and a mix American, which is commonly larger. Chow Chow History. Chow Chow originated in China and has been known since the Han Dynasty. They are believed to be one of the oldest dog breeds and are genetically very close to wolves. Number 2. Popularity. According to the American Kennel Club, Akita is more popular than Chow Chow. Number 3. Size. Akita is larger than Chow Chow. Akita is a large-sized dog breed. They are 24 to 28 inches tall and weigh between 70 and 130 pounds. Chow Chow is a medium-sized dog that stands between 17 and 20 inches tall and weighs between 50 and 75 pounds. Number 4. Appearance. Akita Appearance. Akita is a powerful dog with a sturdy, balanced appearance. Small eyes and erect ears give this breed a very dignified look. Their body is firm. Legs are straight and strong. The large tail curve over the body and is proportionate with the large head. Chow Chow Appearance. The Chow Chow's two most distinctive features are their blue-black tongue and almost straight hind legs. Their head is large and broad with a flat skull. They have almond-shaped eyes, a deep muzzle, erect ears, and a tail that curves over the back like Akita's. Also, the huge fur on the back of the head makes them look like a lion. Number 5. Coat Types. Akita Coat. The Akita has a double coat, a short top coat, and a dense and plush undercoat. American Akita has many colors and combinations, including brindle, black, white, chocolate, and combinations of color and white. But Akita Inu only comes in red fawn, brindle, white, and sesame. We also have long-haired Akitas. Long hair is the result of a recessive gene and is considered a fault in the show ring. The coat of long-haired dogs is softer and has a more silk-like texture. Chow Chow Coat the Chow Chow's coat has two layers like Akita, rough outside and smooth inside. Black, blue, cinnamon, cream, and red are the five standard colors of Chow Chow established by the American Kennel Club. Number 6. Lifespan. Akita's lifespan is 10 to 13 years. Chow Chow's generally live longer than Akita's, with a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. Number 7. Adaptability. Are they good apartment dogs? Chow Chows are known to be better apartment dogs than Akitas. What about weather adaptation? Looking at their super thick coats, you can definitely guess how much they love the cold weather. These breeds don't tolerate hot weather well, so you should pay attention, especially in really hot conditions. Number 8. Personality. Some people compare Akita and Chow Chow's personalities to that of a cat, aloof, silent, independent, intelligent, and stubborn. These dogs are devoted to their family but naturally wary of strangers and aggressive toward other dogs. Typically, they are not friendly and outgoing. They must be socialized extensively, introduced to new people and other dogs early to become well-behaved dogs. Akita and Chow are suitable for families without noisy younger children. In addition, they are quite strong-willed and stubborn, so they are not the best choice for first-time owners. Number 9. Health. Akita and Chow Chow are generally healthy but are prone to some diseases, such as hip dysplasia and hypothyroidism. The best approach to ensure your dog's health is to research reputable breeders, then request to see health certificates and their parents to know more about their living conditions. As with all dogs, it's vital to provide your dog with a healthy diet and adequate exercise to keep them healthy. Number 10. Exercise. You must give your dog adequate exercise to keep them healthy, calm, and happy. Akitas require lots of physical activities, while Chow Chows need less because they're not high-energy dogs. Ideally, offer your Akita two hours of exercise every day by walking, running, or swimming. They love to play in a large, safe garden with lots of fun sports, so it can keep their brains active. Chow Chows like going for walks and need 45 to 60 minutes of exercise every day, which can split into a morning walk and an afternoon walk. Number 11. Training. Beginners should know that these breeds are often stubborn and not easy to train. But this doesn't mean you can't train Akita and Chow Chow. 
If you choose one of these pups, remember three keys to successful dog training are patience, persistence, and consistency. Finally, if you don't think you can successfully train your dog on your own, you might consider getting professional help. Number 12, Shedding and Grooming. Akitas shed less than chows do. They will shed a lot in the fall and spring to prepare for the cold of winter and the hot of summer. Owners should be prepared for some cleanup. Chow Chow is one of the five dog breeds that shed the most. In addition to continuous shedding year-round, Chow Chow is likely to shed more hair depending on seasonal changes, health, nutrition, and grooming maintenance. To keep shedding under control, you should brush their coat at least once a week and bathe them once a month. Trim their nails when you hear the clicking sounds on the floor. Brush their teeth at home once a week. And don't forget to clean their ears monthly to avoid affection. Number 13, Feeding. With Akita. Akitas need a balanced diet with high quality foods. They may also benefit from a high protein formula to support their active lifestyle. With Chow Chow. Genetic differences between Chow Chow and other dog breeds influence how they digest food. Since they were traditionally fed only small amounts of meat, Chows have adapted to consume dairy, beans, peas, and vegetables. Their skin and coat may suffer if they consume too much meat. Instead of one large meal a day, it's better to give your Chow Chow two smaller meals per day to prevent bloating and sickness. You may also want to add water to their food to help digestion. Conclusion The main difference between Akita vs Chow Chow is their energy. Akita is a high-energy dog, while Chow Chow is a low-energy breed. But both are intelligent, independent, and devoted to their owners. What kind of dog do you want to adopt? Comment below. If you enjoy today's video and find it helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell button, so you won't miss any of our future videos.